Howdy YouTube and welcome to this episode of the Gunman. So it's been a while since I've done an update on this channel. Um, that's for a good reason because I've been really busy. So I've just moved house from a little apartment to a big house. Now there was one catch on that house and that's that it's a little bit older so it did need a fair bit of work done around the place. So even just all the gardenings and the inside of the house and all that it was sort of um, a little bit on the older side, but it's coming along quite well, so I'm actually pretty impressed with the work I've been able to do to, cl to clean this place up. Um, this is, I'm in the garage at the moment, so this is one of the places that did need a massive clean up. It looked like this garage hadn't uh, seen much work in the last sort of 30 years. It, it looks like it hasn't even been used. There was cobwebs all over the place, dust and dirt, and uh, there was even graffiti on all of the walls and that, so yeah, I've, I've been like spraying the walls up, I've just been cleaning and like painting the kitchen inside the house and that, and there's been loads and loads of work, but um, yeah, as I say, like it's been a while, like I don't usually leave the channel for this long, but I've been like doing massive days, say, like waking up at say 7 o'clock in the morning, but um, you know, haven't been finishing until say like 9 or 9.30 at night. Um, so yeah, it's been like busy, but I've been enjoying it, I must admit, like uh, the opportunity to do some different kind of work than what I usually do. Um, but yeah, I'll give you guys a quick look around. I'm finally at the point uh, where I will, I wouldn't be shy to show you my garage because it was just a mess up until pretty much two nights ago, like I slowly started giving it a bit of a clean up. So obviously I'm not done yet, but I'll give you guys a bit of a look around the outside of my house. And um, yeah, look, eventually uh, we're not too far off being able to do some paint work in here. So I went and bought myself a compressor. Um, that was like $1,300. I actually ended up getting the one with this airline. So it actually come up to about $1,400 for the compressor and the airline as well. Um, I'll be doing a review on that, but what I did do, I actually painted this wall, so that was um, all graffitied over, so I just got some ceiling white, just some household ceiling white, and I just sprayed it on, because I'm like, man, like it's all crumbly brick, and the mortar in between the bricks sort of like all dustified, and you wouldn't be able to brush and roll, like it's not going to happen, it would just clog up in your brush and your roller, so... I just sprayed some house household paint over it and it did the job, like it's it just tidied it up, you know. Um, but yeah, like I, I, as I say, like I've actually been having a lot of fun, but um, I actually tried making this video here last Saturday, so as of making this video, it's like uh, Tuesday night as of making this video, I tried making this video on Saturday and I just couldn't um, put 10 minutes worth of co coherent talking together. I tried doing this video like three or four times and then as it turned out, like I just hit the wall because I've been so busy, like so, uh, yeah, just flat out for the last three weeks. I just hit the wall and I ended up, I, I went to sleep at 7.30 at night and I didn't wake up the next morning until 7.30. So I just did a full 12 hour night sleep. So. <laughs> That's rare for me to do. I do do it occasionally, but I must have been absolutely knackered. So, um, yeah, look, I mean, this place had been vacant for about two years. That's what my next door neighbor told me. So there's been a lot and a lot of cleaning up. So, but look, I saw the potential in it. Like you look at this, like shelving units. These kind of shelving units, that would be worth three, $400, something like that. It had benches in here already, as you can see there. Um, all this shelving space, that was already there. The tool board here, that was already there. Look, it was filthy, it was full of cobwebs and all that stuff, but it was all there. If you look up even here, there's all hooks. So handy little things that many people will see as use, useless and no value in it. I looked at it and I'm like, hey, I could use all of that. Um, and look, the upside to this place is it's cheap. Um, so. The way I say it, like by the time I get this place to the level um, that I'm gonna li like just leave it at or maintain it at, it's gonna be worth sort of 480, 500 bucks a week. Although I, I, it would rent for, you know what I mean? Um, and I'm paying 410 a week. So look, I think that's good value. Um, the only thing is I have to do the work to get it there. Um, and I know most people wouldn't do that to a rental, but that's I've made that decision. Um, but anyway, so yeah, I actually I set up a little um, a radio. That's my stereo that I used to have in the lounge room, but I ended up going for a sound bar. So 
as they painted that wall, got my little pressure cleaner there, got all my spray painting tools and my polishes and compounds and that. So um, I ended up putting the compressor, I put up a little, um, a little garden shed, so I put that outside and I put my compressor in there because we don't want to be um, breathing in the, the f uh, we don't want the compressor to be breathing in the fumes from the spray painting, so I put that out here. Um, Again, this is actually a little bit of a mess at the moment, but that can stay in there for most of the time. But as you can see here, we've got like a nice sized backyard here. I ended up actually putting these couple of trees in myself. So they're two different lime trees. Um, I put them in. We've got a lemon tree up the back. Have a look at the size of this backyard. Like, isn't it just like, I'm not that far out from the city in Melbourne, but I've just got all this beautiful room. You know, I, I, I really love it. So. As I said, like previously I was in a little apartment and I couldn't even wash my car. Like I had like a, a garage down the bottom. It was, it was more like a car park that everyone shared. Like I couldn't even wash my car down there. Um, but yeah, as you can see there, we've got like nice trees, like nice well-established trees, which is good for the shade and that. As you can see, it's like a bit of an older house. It's a brick veneer, sort of probably 60s era brick veneer. Um, we've got these planter boxes here. Eventually I'll, I'll do a few veggie patches there. Um, but as I say, like all this work I've been doing, I've actually been having fun while I'm doing it. So even here, um, so because the gate is here, it must have been slammed one or two too many times and it had actually broken all the way down here. So I just went down to the hardware store, Bunnings, um, got some mortar and just, uh, you know, trout it back in. And as I say, it's sort of been, it's been fun to, to do some, some different jobs rather than just the spray painting, which I'm used to. And this here, um, this actually happened on Christmas Day. That was my Christmas present. Santa Claus sent me a tree in the back of my car. So like Christmas Day here in Melbourne was a really windy day. So like there was not a tree within 50 meters of my car. Like it was that far away, but it was so windy that like a tree 50 meters away lost a branch and it slammed into, the, it's like it went around the corner of a garage and it slammed into the back of my tailgate. So. I don't know, that's just, um, it happened to the right person. Oh, that's all I can say. I'm not even really too fussed about it, but um, I'm showing you this because it's going to be probably the first job that we do in that garage. So that will be fun to do for the channel. It's, it's actually a reasonable size dent there. Have to push that out, uh, repair, prime and paint. Um, but apart from that, like the whole yard was like well overgrown like this even this like I've cut that back 90% like these trees They're actually just stumps here, but they were way overgrown um, All over here there was like massive same thing just little sucklings I think they call them like uh, I think they're like sucklings from these other trees It's like the roots come up, but then they start growing back up So I've cut all of that back just as I said, it's not quite there, but I'm getting there. I've gone and installed some security cameras, so that's been actually fun just to, I don't know, just get my drills out, get the masonry bits out, and just do, as I said, like, it might seem like a strange little thing, but just having fun just going around and just doing shit and just fixing shit around the house and bits of gardening and mowing the lawns and all that kind of stuff. Like, if you look around here, the, um, the garden, that was like a... Um, the garden was like a bloody jungle. It still needs a bit of cleaning up around there. But yeah, as much as anything, I just thought I'd give you guys a bit of an update and yeah, look at what I've been doing lately and everything's all good. Like there's nothing's been wrong, but that's why I haven't been uploading lately. But I thought I'd give you guys a look at my beautiful little puppy here, Sky. Sky's her name. She's a little Cavoodle, which is a mixture between a Toy Poodle and a King Charles Cavalier. Come on, Sky. Say hello to everybody. She's probably going to be the star of the comment section for this video. I love her beautiful fluffy hair. She's a nice addition to the family. Aren't you, Sky? But yeah, so looking forward to doing some more videos and more jobs, some projects in the garage here. So obviously we're going to be starting off with the tailgate on my little Corolla there. I'll obviously do a video series on that. Um, and then after that, I've actually got a respray lined up, so I'm not going to be doing the paint work here, but I'll be doing all the prep work and getting it ready at home. Maybe even paint inside the door jams here. So I think 
he turned it from a re spray to a, a full re spray after I'd already given him the price, so I might have to put the price up a little bit. Um, but yeah, all of that aside, it's only an S S2000 Honda or something, so it's not the biggest car. So I think it's only like two doors, so shouldn't be too big of a job for me. But it'll be fun to do a video series and yeah, more work from home. I think the kind of thing that I, uh, I think there's a lot of you guys that um, actually do painting from home. So I think you know a lot of people will be able to gain something from that. Hopefully so, and hopefully I can gain something from you guys as well. Um, if there's any, you know, recommendations, be sure to leave them in the comments section. Whilst I might not always be able to answer everybody and everybody's question, I do try to at least read most of the comments, but in saying that, um, I've actually been so busy lately, I, I haven't even been able to read half of them, but I'm getting, getting there. I'm pretty much uh, at the point where I can start chilling out a bit, so. Yeah, anyway guys, I hope you've all been well, I've been well, and hopefully we've got some awesome videos to look forward to in the near future. Anyway, until next time, get out there and paint some shit. Coming out. I'd like to say a big thanks to everyone for watching, and if you'd like to support the channel further, you're more than welcome to go over and check out some of the merchandise we've got. My personal favourite is those spray suits, so they're a good quality collab branded spray suit with a gunman logo on it there's also hats drink coolers hoodies and t-shirts so be sure to go over and check out the link in the description if you are interested